You've seen her on the WWE Network, all over the internet, and now you're seeing her live on another wrestling podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome uh, Miss Felicia Rose. Welcome to the show. Thanks, guys. <laughs> so how are you doing today? Everything okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm great. I'm pretty drunk. How are you? Pretty sober, but we're doing good. <laughs> I'm sorry. That sucks. <laughs> Now, uh, let's, I, we're, we're going to get into this. It's going to be hot and heavy. Um, so, for people, <laughs> so for people who aren't aware, uh, on August 22nd, 2015, uh, you attended NXT TakeOver live from Brooklyn, New York. Uh, during the main event, you were shown holding up the now infamous Face Fuck Me Finn sign. Um, how has your life changed since that night? Well, before I even got home, I was told on the street by some random person that I was viral, which I've never been before. So that was really weird. And um, now my dating pool is mostly wrestling fans or wrestlers. So it's that's changed a lot. <laughs> <laughs> well, There's a lot of other things, but, you know, we'll get into those, I'm sure. Sure. Well, you know, since that night, you've become quite the polarizing figure in wrestling. Uh have you uh, have you seen some backlash from your fin sign? Um, some backlash is an understatement. I've been <laughs> I've been spoken about in so many degrading and rotten ways. It's actually pretty funny, and I understand because you know, for the most part, nobody knows me on the internet, and they don't know like what I'm about or my shtick, if you will. So. I really didn't expect to go viral. I was in section like two seventy something originally. And um, I snuck down to section four for the main event, and that's when obviously somebody snapped a photo of me because people were like paying attention, and it was bright enough. And I never expected anything, so it, it's just really weird to hear people comparing me to like Mario because of my outfit that I was, wearing. <laughs> <laughs> which is pretty funny. Like I can't help but laugh. Like I have a good sense of humor too, which was the whole point of why I held up a disgusting sign. It was really just to make my friends giggle. Like I was drunk and being stupid it really wasn't i didn't like plan out anything to like get on tv or anything like that so sure all right well um what's the greatest thing you said that there's been some some uh things that have ha happened your dating pools expanded uh <laughs> what's the greatest thing that's happened since this this whole thing started um i could be selfish and say something like you know I have been contacted by pretty cool wrestlers and companies, but to be honest with you, I think the coolest thing that's happened is that I've given a voice to females that are enjoying wrestling for, partially at least, for the sexualized part of it, and I think that a lot of times men are allowed to and encouraged to sexualize the female wrestlers, but it's really not normal for the girls to do so with the men. And if so, it's like a big deal and it gets, you know, viral pretty quick, as you can see. Um, I know there was like a Seth Rollins, like a couple older ladies holding up like Seth Rollins signs recently and they got like pretty viral for that. And I just think that it's pretty cool that women are now feeling more free to express themselves in terms of sexuality and wrestling because, I mean, look at what we're watching. It's not like we're watching something that's you know, not overtly sexual. I can see your boner through your undies or whatever, so I should be able to express my feelings toward that. <laughs> Jonathan, I, th I think that's the first time we've had the word boner on our show, so that's, that's, always, a, that's always a start. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> and, and I don't know if you heard her say it, um, but she said the greatest thing that came from all of this is being interviewed live right now by you and me. I can't believe it. That is amazing. Just no boners, Jonathan, because we're... You can't really. It's Who said no boners? That's boring. He well, said, but he said this it. is a boner zone. I don't know. <laughs> Do a yeah. shot every time you hear that. But it, well, well, here, let's get a down shot to of it. Beer, okay. Well, let's get down to it. You know, it's <laughs> it's pretty obvious that you like Finn Balor. So, uh, what is it about him that makes you want his, um, in your words, demon semen? That's also the first time that that's ever been said on this show. It is awesome. Good. I'm glad. I'm gonna trademark that. So. My mom actually gave me money for Christmas to trademark that stuff or whatever. <laughs> um, thanks, mom. I, yeah, thanks, mom. <laughs> Shout out. Um, no, Ferk Devitt is a great 
wrestler. He always has been, and he's been busting his ass for a long time. And um, I've, I noticed him, and I paid attention, and I really liked the demon shtick, and I looked more into him. And um, I haven't been a wrestling fan as far as current wrestling for all that long. So it was very interesting to go back and, like, see, you know, his matches in, you know, New Japan and things like that. So either way, I really enjoyed his wrestling, and I really still do enjoy his wrestling. I think he's great. He's really focused. He's a great character. I like that he switches it up. It's not just, like, I come out as a demon. It's like, no, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I'm just really hot in a leather jacket so it was um it was interesting to me it caught my eye originally i was really a big huge fan of Sami Zayn, and then he was injured and i was horny so i turned to ferg i mean finn whatever i do, do want to say that we did get also jonathan a demon shtick it's kind of like or just just throwing it out there kind of you know demon stick shtick oh, shit. I, right, you I get the know. demon semen from the demon stick. Stick. There you That's go. It. <laughs> right. There you go. Right. Copyright that too. <laughs> now, have uh, you said that some wrestlers and some companies are familiar with you now? Um, have you heard if Finn may be familiar with you or the sign? Yes. Okay. All right. That's it. <laughs> That was a short answer, Steve. I think there's more to this story, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna pressure this. It's okay. Well, we'll, we'll... Um, I can say a few things. So we're buddies, I guess now. Like we speak, and he's nice. He's just a gentleman, and uh, I think he appreciates my candor. That's what he said originally. Like I reached out to him, and I was like, "Hey, my mom is upset with me, and the internet's mad at me. Want to make my dreams come true?" And he was just like, "Oh, you're funny. I appreciate everything." And uh, he said multiple people, you know, showed it to him, and he just, like, gets a pop every time or something. So, you know, we chit-chat from time to time. He's a nice guy. I just recently sent some shirts down, and he told me today he gave them out to other people. So I was pretty excited about that, but only because I'm a dork and he knows that. Awesome. But either way, it's not very PG, so he can't be like, hey, you know, this chick. <laughs> uh, Jonathan, I, I just want to reference again, you know, uh he got a pop out of it, so <laughs> <laughs> that's great. Uh, Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> well, so let's hear. Okay, so cur- I'm quoting. Shut up. I know. I'm just <laughs> just re-referencing. It. So, uh, you know, so currently it's more common to see uh, women be fans of pro wrestling. Uh, how long have you been a fan? And other than Finn, uh, what else do you enjoy about pro wrestling? Um, the dick. No, I'm kidding. Um, no, I mean, pro wrestling's awesome. I never, I wasn't allowed to watch it as a kid. So when I would watch it, I would watch it at my friend's house. So it was kind of like a treat. And then as an adult, I was like, eh, I don't watch TV or whatever. And then, you know, like a year and a half or so ago, one of my exes was like super into it. And I would just like watch his reaction. I was like, maybe I should pay attention. And I started to, and NXT was really the first thing that caught my attention you know, even still to this day, beyond Raw and SmackDown and all of those other main roster events, I really do enjoy NXT. I like how raw it is, if you will, and I like that the talent is up and coming and they're trying to make a name from the, for themselves. So it wasn't really until I started paying attention to NXT that I got into wrestling. Jonathan, I don't want to... Full-time, if you will. <laughs> sure. I, I don't want to point it out again, though, Jonathan, but she said the talents are up and coming. So just laying it out there, Jonathan, if you want to take it away. I'm not even this, trying to say words like coming. Thank you very much, by the way, for putting it's things this in my guy. Mouth. Mm-hmm. Oh, and I'm going to be the one that said that she said putting things in her mouth. <laughs> <laughs> so let's let's talk, uh, you know, obviously Brooklyn. I'm, I'm assuming that you're somewhere near Brooklyn um, yes. to be at that show. They just announced that NXT is going on a, a semi- world tour uh united states tour with dates in new jersey and new york coming up do Mm -hmm. you have any plans on going to any of those shows i plan to try to go to all three um i just got laid off so i don't know if i can financially afford all three but if i can i'm going to try to go to all three i want to a couple people couple handfuls of people have reached out and said that they want to like have a little section like a little ffmf if you will section facebook event section which i think would be really cute 
especially because, I mean, obviously he's going to the main roster soon. So just for the last couple shows that we get to see live, I think that would be really fun. I don't know which ones I'm going to go to, but hopefully all three of them, which would be Philly, New Jersey, and Albany. Sure, great. Uh, now, you know, in the world of pro wrestling, the fans can even become famous, you know. Uh, where do you think you rank amongst the likes of uh, the WWE sign guy, Frank the Clown, the Angry Miz Girl, uh, WWE's biggest fan, John Glick, and maybe the Brock Lesnar guy? Um, I haven't won an award, so, like, I don't think I rank with them. I think, the, and also those people go to, like, every sh- I mean, I just said I recently got back into wrestling, so it would be silly of me to put myself in the ranks of them. I think if you were to say, like, main roster versus, like, NXT, I'm the top of NXT, but I would say that, in general, I'm at the bottom of that pool. Like, those people are really committed, and they go to every single main event that they can or pay-per-view event, and they're, you know, in the front row. I mean, that costs a lot of money. They're obviously very dedicated, and I would love to be that way, but unfortunately, I can't afford it. So I think that they, you know, shout out to them for doing what they do, and winning awards for doing so but yeah no i'm not in that that team at all i i think i have an answer to maybe some of these these issues we should start a gofundme ffmf uh world tour (laughs) for for you and uh and get you to these these nxt shows that would be great i mean i would love especially with the new rumors about i would love to be able to go to a lot of upcoming shows, so you're right. That should happen. Do it. I can't do it. I'd feel I'm like a genius. <laughs> you are. Now your uh, your popularity has caused you to. I don't. I'm. I don't want to misspeak. I don't know if you created the shirt yourself or if it was created in in your image. But um, it is your very own. FFMF shirt. Are there any plans to create more? I saw that there was some sort of tragedy tragedy on Etsy. Um, so is are these shirts tragedy. still? Well, they got taken down or something. Yeah, I put them back up though. I I forgot to follow the rules. It's okay. I'm not very good at that. That's totally fine. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I I agreed to the rules and I didn't by accident. So they were taken down, but I put them back up. Um, I think people don't like white t-shirts that much, so I gave a lot out to, if I were to make a profit, maybe I could make more. Like, I have some ideas of things I think people would want just by reading what they posted online, and some people were like, hey, I want snapbacks and shit like that, so um, I would love to make more, but I need to sell the rest of what I have first and not give them away to Enzo and Cass and people like that, so... <laughs> Um, once I do that, I'm going to tie-dye some, you know, whatever. Awesome. Whatever. I might make them sooner than later. Who knows? Well, Jonathan, we're going to have to pick up our very own FFMF t-shirts very soon. But uh, awesome. Felicia, outside of uh, wrestling, what are, what are some of your interests? Because I know everybody watching right now wants to know the real Felicia Rose. So mm-hmm. besides wrestling, what, what, what else interests you? Yeah, wrestling can be exhausting. It's like infiltrated my life. So um, I like... Like punk and hardcore. I like going to shows. I like um, horror movies and being a pig and dirty jokes and, you know, comedy. Drinking. Key and peel skits, drinking, getting extremely high. Am I allowed <laughs> to say that? Sure, you can. Getting very fucking high. Um, you know, things like that. I currently don't really know what I'd like to do, so I'm exploring that. <laughs> but, you know, who knows? You'll you'll see me soon doing something completely different, I'm sure. Great. Well, we want to thank you very much for coming on today. Um, I don't think this is going to be the last of uh, another wrestling podcast and, and Felicia. Um for, I'm sure that everybody listening is already following you on social media, and maybe some are following you in real life, like to the store and stuff. But um, if you could let everybody know your social media contacts. I'm just um, Felicia Rose pretty much on everything. So on Instagram, I'm Felicia Rose. On Etsy, I'm Felicia Rose Raw. On Facebook, I am I am Felicia Rose. <laughs> 
it's pretty simple to find me online. My Facebook's a little harder, but every, I mean, honestly, you should be able to find me through a fucking friend or something. So, but yeah, follow me on Instagram and that's simple to find. So Felicia Rose. There you go. Sorry, I'm drunk and rambling. 